right after Xbox. So this is our Bethesda wrap-up discussion. So we'll start with the good. Um, let's go right off the bat. The biggest thing to come out of the Bethesda conference was... Uh, Elder Scrolls 6. Finally. And I know we just got like a scene of it, but like I'm already excited about it. After the trailer released, I, uh, my roommate Casey, right... Him and I were talking about it, and he's like, man, people on 4chan are already, like, like looking at the map of the game and, like, the trailer and trying to find out where it is. Like, that's how dedicated Elder that's Scrolls crazy. fans are. They want, they, they, they get, like, a shot of, of a mountain range, and they're like, what is this game? Where is it? I'm going to find out. Like, like, and they found out in, like, two seconds. I, I, people had different theories. Was it Thalmor? I don't know. I heard it was Hammerfell. I heard it was... A bunch of different stuff. It's definitely not Valenwood, right? Val- <clears throat> Valenwood? Uh, no, I don't think so. That's the one we really wanted because it looked beautiful. Last yeah. podcast we talked about it. But honestly, wherever they put it, I think it's going to be great. It's going like, to be perfect. It's just like the best RPG of all time. Like Skyrim is so good. So mm-hmm. um, that was like probably the most exciting thing for me out of the Bethesda. I'm glad thing, they yeah. showed it. I'm glad they finally said something. Uh, I feel like after this, if they didn't, I feel like people would kind of start to lose hope a bit. Which, like I said, people would think like, Oh, of course, Elder Six, Elder Scrolls Six is in production, and like, yeah, but it's like, it's like, what is taking so long though? Yeah. Like, why are we? Why you know, Elder Scrolls came out in two thousand eleven. Wasn't there an eleven year difference between like Oblivion and Skyrim? Wasn't no, there a ridiculous that, amount of time. I think it was only because Oblivion came out on three hundred and sixty and PS three. Did it? And so did Skyrim. It was two thousand six? So it was only what like a. Five year difference. Five year difference. Okay, that's not and they're bad. both okay. huge games. Yeah, they are both huge games. But um, that then again, it's like if this is taking this long, how good is Elder Scrolls Six going to be? It's true. Yeah, absolutely. I hope it's going to be fantastic. There's such an improvement from Oblivion to Skyrim. Yeah. Um. So the next thing that I thought was really good was uh, Fallout seventy six. We got a little more information on the game. It's going to be online. Um. It's kind of like a Fallout. I don't want to say MMO. It, it no. is like it's still like a first person RPG, but you just get to play with your friends. More survival aspects, yeah. more um, like base building. Um, like you said, it's online. You're going to be playing with other people on the map. So, yeah, it's like an online RPG. Yeah, well, it pretty much is an MMO RPG. Massive yeah, but, multiplayer online role playing game. Yeah, but massive multi. He only said there's going to be like what, like thirty people on the map at once. Okay, that's not yeah. too bad. That's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Yeah, no. He said the map is four times bigger. He said there's only like a couple dozen people on the map, um, including like the four people. Eat. Yeah, I think they said you can play with eight, eight people. I'm really not sure. Um, so yeah, it's not that I I wouldn't I wouldn't consider it MMO. Like, when I think MMO, I think World of Warcraft. Warcraft yeah. I think this is just, like, an online follow. Yeah. And it, it looks really good. I love that, um, what's his name? can't think of his name right now. Todd Howard? Todd Howard, thank you. I love that he went up there and he was just like, all right, we're going to answer your questions. Everybody calm down. Is it, Like, are you going to be able to solo this? Absolutely. <laughs> like, it was just funny how he's just like, we hear your concerns, just calm it down. So that was kind of cool. So, yeah, Fallout 76 looks really good. Um, it's going to be the newest installment installment into the Fallout series. Um, I don't know. Is it actually going to be like Fallout Five? Like, is this actually like the new Fallout? No, they said it's a spinoff game. It is a spinoff. Yeah. Okay, cool. How do you feel about No Vats? I personally didn't. I, I'm not a big Fallout fan in the first place. And okay. I didn't really like the Vat system. Okay. So I'm kind of okay with it. Yeah, it's not a big deal to me. Yeah. yeah. So this is the first Fallout game I'm very interested in. Yeah. Same. Because I played Fallout 4, which is my first Fallout game, and I did not like it. Really? I beat it. It was fine. But I just... I The world wasn't Skyrim. <laughs> uh, I just so. find the Fallout universe kind of boring. That's yeah. my opinion. Um, but one of my favorite game mechanics ever is base building. Yeah. And, and they showed that a lot in Fallout 76. And so, so that's my least favorite mechanic, really? yeah, is base building. I and love so when, it. Whenever he showed up, he's like, we need to build bases. I'm like, get, get out of here. Stop bothering me. I'm trying to play this game. I love it. Yeah, so. But Fallout 76 looks good. And that was one good takeaway that uh, I thought it looked better than I thought it would be. Yeah. Online, so. so what did you think was bad from the Bethesda conference? Um, what didn't you like? Oh, God. The... Awkward um, musical number at the start. Andrew for WK Rage, for Rage Two. Yeah, I didn't really like it. All it's like, either. what's the what's the point? Like, it's not getting me pumped up the whole time. I'm just like, hey, when's this over? When are they showing the game? It didn't even sound that great. Yeah, like, like 
Why this, the sound doesn't translate into like a live stream? Why is this well. guy wearing such tight pants? Like, because <laughs> Andrew WK likes to party, man. That's all it is. I just was not into it. At I was all. not. Yeah, I was the same way. I was not into it. So, are you really? Uh, I agree with you. I absolutely agree. Just, just Bethesda, list like look online. <laughs> like, if say Game Savvy became like one of the biggest like video game journalism ever. I'd have people online like, what are people saying about us? Yeah. What do people not like? Yeah. Let's change that. Community like, feedback is exactly. Yeah, so, How? Why are people not doing that? Like, why? Aren't, like I said, why aren't people seeing like, oh, fans don't like musical numbers. They don't like celebrity endorsements. Yeah. Why aren't they looking at that? See, I think like celebrity endorsements are fine because we've seen it work when um, Kevin Spacey was in Call of Duty. Like that, everybody went crazy for that. They're like, well, Kevin Spacey in Call of Duty, that's amazing. Now he's kind of a little bit of a pariah in Hollywood, but yeah. Um, and so I think you can also bring in Andrew WK for a performance, but you need to do it properly. Like, I don't want to watch Andrew WK perform a song. I think that's good for the people in the audience, but for a live stream, I just want to see gameplay. So if you were to show me gameplay with Andrew WK performing live in the background, the live audience gets to see him on stage and the gameplay happening at the same time. And I think that works really well. But the fact that it was just Andrew WK and running around, the, music, the song wasn't even that great. I was like, just get it over with. So I completely agree. The only... So my thing with celebrity endorsements, and you mentioned the Kevin Spacey thing, is Call of Duty's been the best-selling game for its seven years straight, I think. Seven or That's eight. That's crazy. So it would sell with Kevin Spacey if he wasn't there to begin with. That's so, true. Um, but I, then you also see, like, um, Death Stranding that has, like, Norman Reedus and... That's, uh, I feel like that's different. He's not Matt endorsing Mickelson. the game. He's in the game. Yeah. But it still has a celebrity firepower. And I think people are really excited to see Norman Reedus in a game. Yeah. So I think there's a way to do it right. I think that's the right way to do it in Death Stranding. And there's a wrong way to do it. And that's how the um, celebrity almost o- overshadow the game. Like, yeah, Kevin Spacey's in the game. Like, that's fine. But, but it doesn't overshadow. Call yeah. And, like... It'd be different if Kevin Spacey came on stage and he's like, yo, play Call of Duty. Like, yeah. I like Call of Duty, so you should play it. Like, that's it. Like, I'm sure people thought it was cool that Kevin Spacey's in the game, same with Norman Reedus and Death Stranding. Um, I don't think people are, are definitely as passionate about Kevin Spacey, even back then, yeah. especially not now. Just celebrities um, in general. Then someone, like, yeah. someone like Norman Reedus, who like teenage girls go crazy over for some reason. <laughs> I would rather Miyamoto up there, like endorsing a game. <laughs> Could you imagine Miyamoto went up on Xbox's stage yeah. and he'd be like, I played Gears of War 5 and it was great. Yeah. And it's just like, yeah, that's an endorsement that I will definitely take into consideration. Like, that's fantastic. Could you so, imagine if he did that? And, like Nintendo afterwards was like, what the hell, man? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> That'd be so funny. <laughs> so I agree. The music in Lumber before Rage 2 was a little awkward. Um, and I guess the one thing that I thought was bad from the Bethesda conference was there was too much, like, community talk. There was too much, like, hey, we just like to pray people. Just, hey, we just want to shout out to our community. And, like, the Elder Scrolls Online, like, hey, I just want to talk about our community. And it's yeah. like, that's not why we're here. It's good for the players, I guess, to, like, feel appreciation. But it was one of those moments where it was like, okay, let's get this over with. And it went on for a little too long. And it's like, yeah. Uh, but that's just me being a greedy gamer, and I just like get to the games. So that's it, one of those things. They didn't really like show anything completely new. Too, there were some new game modes and yeah. some little DLC things here and there, but it wasn't like a E three. Like, just get on stage and be like, "Hey, uh, we'd like to thank everyone." Blah blah blah. Like, Elder Scrolls Online is played by like five million people a year. That's good. Here's the new DLC. That's it. Yeah. I don't want five minute explanation about their community because I'm not part of it. Yeah. If you are a part of it, that's good. But like. Think of the millions of people who are watching or not. Even That could be said for like, oh, they unveiled a new Gears of War game, but I'm not a Gears of War fan. Yeah, that's true. But it might only be like a two-minute trailer. Yeah. Like, that's it. And then you're on to the next thing. And like, it's just a different disconnect in a yeah, way. Yeah, I think so. And it's kind of weird, too, because it's kind of like, hey, we just want to thank our community and definitely not recruit more people who are watching this to play the game. But here's some reasons to jump into the game. We're not trying to recruit you. We're just thanking our community. But also, please go buy our game. And it's just like, all right, you're obviously advertising here. Why don't you just be straight up about it? You know, I don't know. It's kind of weird. So beating around the bush and a lot of community talk, that's kind of something that, uh, which honestly isn't that bad of a thing. It's just kind of every conference does it. Bethesda, you're not alone. So, mm-hmm. so what else did you think was really good from the Bethesda conference? The the kind of format from it. I thought Xboxes was better. There were a few hiccups in in the Bethesda conference. Obviously, like I mentioned, the musical number that sucked. But I like the casual, laid backness of Bethesda. I like them like 
saying the F word on stage. Like, that's funny. It's, it's casual. I like them being like, yo, um, here's the new Skyrim game. And then trolling people with like, uh, Skyrim on the Alexa. Yeah. Um, I like how they know like everyone's there for Elder Scrolls 6. I like how laid back Todd Howard is. He's like, he's like, this is what it is. You're all degenerates. Get off my goddamn <laughs> stage. It's so true. Yeah. yeah. He's like, they let me out of my cage uh, every couple of years. I'm back. Yeah. <laughs> I love his tone of voice, too. It's also very good. It's all like, all right, you have questions and concerns. I'm here to answer them all. Everybody calm down. It's like, confidence. That's yeah. what he has. Yeah, he knows he, he knows Bethesda. He knows what's up. He knows they're one of the best. He's like, just let me tell you what you want. Yeah. Like, It's because the Fallout 76 announcement was the same thing as I'm feeling with Halo Infinite. Because it wasn't Fallout 5. Yeah. It was Fallout 76. And people were panicking. They were just like, what is this? What's happening? This isn't what I wanted. Blah, blah, blah. And for me, I'm doing the same thing with Halo. It's, what is it? I have no idea. You just mentioned it. Like, there's concerns. Like, talk to us about it. I'd, so. I'd love if Phil Spencer got on stage and he's like, all right, everyone, shut the hell up. Let me yeah. tell you what Halo is. <laughs> so, yeah, I think I agree with that. I think, yeah, their format was really good. I, like, I get why people go the more, um, like, animatronic, like, the business, or, say, like, Phil Spencer, like, like, hey, this is Xbox this year, yada, yada, yada. But then uh, I get why that is, but I like the more casual like, like, yo, what's up? Like, I'm, I'm goddamn Todd Howard. Like, yeah. let me tell you what's up. See, and like, Todd, the way Todd Howard does it too is just very smooth. It's very suave. Yeah. Because there's a lot of people that try and hype and they're like, hey guys, like, and you end up looking like a big nerd. So yeah. he has like that perfect balance of like confidence and cool, not trying to like be a spaz and like overhype and stuff. He's just like, we're confident in our games. You guys are going to be really happy about it. And here's why. And it's just like, all right. Yeah, I believe you, Todd. I just think even though everyone does it, I think some people aren't good at acting like they're not reading from a script. In yeah. A way. Mm-hmm. Um, you could even, I like watch Todd Howard, like look down at the script every 10 seconds. But like I'm, with, with someone like Phil Spencer, it felt a bit more scripted in a way. Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah. But yeah. He's very professional. Yeah. Which, which exactly. I actually don't mind because the games do the talking for him. So it kind of works out. So I think we'll end on some games that we got from Bethesda then. The first one was the mobile game um, Elder Scrolls Blades, which I think is a very interesting mobile experience. Um, we didn't get a lot of mobile game stuff this year. Um, I'm, I'm happy for that. I know, you're happy for I that? I know you like mobile gaming. But... So I like the idea of having like an RPG exploration type thing with very simple combat mechanics, leveling up your character, stats and stuff like that. Um, you can also play in portrait mode because not a lot of games do that. I'm more of a fan of portrait mode than landscape mode. Yeah. Um, so it's very easy to just like play. Um, I thought that game looked really good. What did you think of the game? I thought it was funny because with that portrait mode, like when I'm in portrait mode, it's like I'm self conscious and I'm like on the bus. I'm like people know I'm playing this dinky game. Yeah. But it's like he said, it's like um, what's it like conference mode or something where it's like you're in a business conference and you're on your phone yeah. and he's like if it's portrait nobody knows yeah. but if it's if it's the other way, it's like everyone knows you're playing a game. Yeah. Um, so that was kind of a, a nice benefit to it, I think. I'm I'm not interested in mobile gaming. It it didn't hit me. The only thing that did is when they're like, you can build your own town. I'm like, <gasps> <laughs> I'm like, maybe I will pick it up, but uh, it's just not a big deal to me. Yeah. And one other thing that I will mention is a Starfield. Is their brand new sci-fi game they're working on? This was another game that I I felt the same way about Halo Infinite as I did Starfield a little bit. Um, it's exciting that Bethesda is working on a new franchise outside of Fallout and Elder Scrolls um, and Prey and whatever. Um, but it's again, it's just like, I don't, it, there's no point. I don't know what this game is about. Yeah. You showed me space and Starfield. You could have just said Starfield and I knew it was going to be about yeah, space. Yeah, exactly. Um, so it's like, show me, are we driving a spaceship? Are we going to be a person? So it's again, it's kind of like, but I like, I think it was good that they were just like, hey, you've heard rumors. Here it is. This is all we can show you for now. They also, Bethesda is the only people that mentioned Next Generation. That's so, true. I think the they future, said, yeah. I think they said Starfield is Next Gen. Um, they, they didn't say next generation, but they did say the future. Yeah, so whatever that future means. generation or something, however way you want. But yeah, um, so yeah, so but, we got some good games from them. So that's awesome. So I think Bethesda had a fantastic conference all around. Um, I like their cool attitude, as we talked about, and uh, yeah, I think they did a really good job this year. So that's pretty much it for our wrap up of the Bethesda conference. What did you guys think of the Bethesda conference? Comment below. We'd love to hear from you. Like and subscribe, and all that fun stuff. And uh, I think we're gonna move on to Square.